Hey everyone, I hope all of you are doing great. In this lesson, we are going to learn about vaults in Ansible. So before understanding that, let's understand the problem scenario. So here you can see we have our inventory file and the file name is called hosts. If you see here, we have some sensitive information like here you can see we have Ansible password. So basically anyone who is going to have access to this inventory file will be able to have credentials also. And again, you can see this is administrator credentials. So this is something which we don't want to share. And again, this is one piece of information. There can be other information as well which is sensitive in nature and you don't want to share that information so the best way is to encrypt the, uh, that file or encrypt that string or basically anything which is sensitive you want to encrypt it so we can use ansible vault in order to encrypt the file or encrypt any string so uh, first of all let's go ahead and create a playbook and let's call it ansible vault demo now i'm just going to create a very simple playbook so we are just going to probably ping a server and in the task we can just include one task so here we can use winping since it is a windows server and you can save it and we are going to run it as it is first of all okay just to see if everything is okay and here you can see we are always referring to our hosts file because host file or inventory file is the one which is storing the credential for this server not only credential uh, basically all the connection related information so here you can see we are specifying that uh, it, it should connect using these credential ansible connection is winrm this is the port it should use now let's go ahead and run it so here you can see playbook is running it has executed and everything is okay now what we will do is we are going to uh, first of all this is the file we are going to encrypt it so let's go ahead and use ansible hyphen vault and then we need to write create actually create is going to create a new file if you want to create a new file uh, which is going to be encrypted then we can use create so we already have a file so we can directly say encrypt and we can provide the name of the file so name of the file is host file and then once you write this this is going to ask you a password so this password you will need to specify when you want to decrypt the file so i'm going to give the password here and it can be any password now you can see this host file has been you can see here this host file has been encrypted so if i go ahead and say cat and hosts here you can see the information which we go, uh, get is basically just some encrypted string so no one will be able to you know get any information from uh, this file until and unless they know uh, the password which is this password which we have specified now i'm going to clear the screen and now what we will do is we will run this playbook again here you can see when i'm running this playbook again it is giving the error now obviously we are going to get the error because there is uh, this file is encrypted inventory file is encrypted and ansible doesn't know basically right now how to decrypt it because it doesn't have the secret so what we are going to do is we are going to specify ask vault pass so now if we are running it is it is going to basically prompt the password to decrypt that file which is the inventory file so i'm going to go ahead and provide the password here now you can see as soon as i provided the password uh, execution happened as it is so everything was normal here so this is one way of encrypting the complete file itself so here in this scenario basically this complete inventory file only we have decrypted now there can be other scenario when you don't probably want to encrypt everything you just want to encrypt a string so for example uh, let's say i'm just interested in uh, okay first let's go ahead and uh, decrypt the file so we can see the file again in order to do that we can do ansible vault decrypt and the file name which is hosts file now here it is again we need to provide the password so if i do cat hosts now you can see we are able to see all the information now what if you you know don't want to encrypt everything which is available here probably you are just you just want to encrypt only this password which is admin and the rest of the things probably you want to leave it as it is so in that case we can follow this syntax of encrypting only the string so i'm just going to copy it let's clear the screen paste it now so here we can provide that whatever thing which we want to basically encrypt so I'm, i just want to encrypt this password which is called admin hit enter now again you have to provide the password so this can be any password just make sure you keep this password uh, as super secret okay so someone who's going to have this password will be able to uh, decrypt this information now you can see uh, basically this admin string has been encrypted and this is what we have got now what we will do is we are going to use it in our inventory file now one thing here is that if you want to use any string encrypted string in your inventory file then inventory file format should be a yaml file so here you can see this host file is not really a yaml file so what we will do is let's go ahead and create a new file which is going to be called hosts.yaml and then here we are going to give the inventory information in 
yaml way so i'm just going to copy everything here and going to paste it here and here we it is going to be called wintel servers and under this we are going to manage hosts under this so just follow the syntax which i'm mentioning here okay basically it's an it's a yaml syntax so nothing uh, crazy about this one now this file has changed to yaml format so first of all let's run this playbook again without putting any encrypted information just to make sure our yaml playbook or yaml basically inventory file is working fine so i'm going to specify ansible playbook hyphen i hosts dot yaml and everything looks okay yeah everything looks okay it is working so now what we are going to do is uh, we are going to replace this admin with this encrypted string which we have uh, received here so i'm just going to copy this and we just need to paste it here okay everything looks okay so let's go ahead and run this playbook again now we should be expecting some issue here we can see that it is saying attempting to decrypt but no vault secrets found so what we need to do is we again need to tell hyphen hyphen ask vault pass and then provide the password now here you can see it is working fine okay so basically you can see now our inventory file is secure so any additional information which is not sensitive everyone can see but password is uh, super secure now because it has been completely encrypted now one thing to note here is you know you it might look like to you that now everything every time when you are running the playbook you have to always supply the password so basically it is going to run in kind of interactive mode and you won't be able to run it in a silent mode so it's not like that there is a way to run it in silent mode as well what we have to do is here you can see we have specified ansible playbook and again whatever our playbook is and here we are saying ask vault password so that's why it is asking interactively about the vault password rather than this what we can do is we can uh, create a file which is less called any any text file uh, let's say i'm going to create a file secrets.txt and here we can specify uh, the password so the password which i had kept was actually called ansible as well so now you can see this secret is basically having our uh, password which we are going to use to decrypt any of the any of the basically encrypted content using ansible vault so now here if i'm going to run this playbook rather than ask vault password what i'll do is i will specify vault password file location so we need to specify a vault password file is ansible and hit enter uh, there seems to be some syntax issue so it's called vault password file okay so it's not only pass so let's go ahead and change it to password file and run it again uh, we don't need to specify ansible we need to actually tell the name of the file which is basically secret.txt so just copy it paste it here run it and this time you can see this is running fine okay so if you want to let's say call this script you always need to call this playbook you know using the location of the file which is basically containing the password again this password doesn't have to have in a file you can also keep it in environment variable and then you can uh, call a python script which is basically pulling that information from the environment variable so that's all in this lesson see you again in the next lesson